Hi guys, uh, time for today's uh, model update. Um, before I get into model update, okay, uh, I should explain my, my situation right now. A um, couple of days ago I was uh, going to bed and I strained my back. And that's made things difficult. Uh, the next morning I got up and I strained my leg. Uh, so that put me in quite a considerable bit of pain. A um, couple of days ago I strained my leg again. Uh, same one, same place. Um, so that really sort of uh, put me on a downer. But um, I haven't sort of just rolled over and uh, sucked it up. What I've done is um, I've done a bit of physiotherapy this morning and obviously I'm taking painkillers and medication for it. But I'm looking at it as, you know, sort of a warning sign. You know, you, you, you've let yourself go into a state of neglect you're not eating properly and you're not working out like you used to and I've let myself go and it's you know it's a warning sign you, you, you've got to you've got to keep yourself active to be active um, so what I think I'm gonna do is um, I'm not gonna ignore this I'm gonna do a bit of physiotherapy now uh, I've done some this morning I'm gonna do more this evening and uh, keep going with it but what I'm gonna do is um, basically what's, what's happened is that um, uh, since my father passed away uh, my emotional state has been up and down okay one some days I've been really you know feeling good about myself and feeling great and that's been fine but then there are other days then where I've just totally dive bombed and just thought you know what the hell's the point and just given up and um, I'm having a bit of a positive day so I'm, I, whilst I'm having a positive day, I'm making plans to uh, do some more physical work to try to get myself back into some sort of physical health. Um, so last year I done a couple of video blogs on uh, losing weight and monitoring what I was doing and everything like that. So I might do another one this year because I can stand to lose probably two stone in weight. I don't think I'll go that dramatic, but um, but I could probably stand to lose about two stone in weight. And um, it'll just be a sort of short blog, you know, sort of two minutes here and there, just uh, showing where I'm at and what I'm doing and, uh, and what I'm going through. Anyway, um, enough about my personal crap. Uh, moving on to uh, models. And uh, first things first, Keith, your model is on its way. It's currently in the post office right now, and uh, but it's already stamped for shipping. So it's coming to you. Um, on a note for that, by the way, is that um, I took the, the parcel into the post office, um, give it to them, they weighed it out and done all that, and uh, put the address on it and everything like that, and that was all very well and good. And then the woman behind the counter looked at me and asked me, can you tell me what's in the box? Because you have to, you know, declare it, you have to declare what's in the box, and fair enough. So she asked me what's in the box. No. If you know me, if you know anything about me, if you've worked in any establishment within my locale, you will know that that question in a shop full of people is a question that is going to give you an answer you haven't anticipated. Okay? Because I am one of those people that will go out of their way to embarrass themselves just so that they can get a bit of a giggle out of you. Now, I'm at the front of the queue, like I said there's 8 to 10 people in the shop. She looked me in the eye and said, what's in the box? And I looked her square in the eyes and as deadpan as I can make it, I said, it's a high powered anal sex toy with Svengel tickler adapter. It was like she'd been entered into After Effects and somebody was dicking about with a hue and saturation. She went all sorts of colours. But um, anyway, it's been done, now it's been sent, and the model should be with you within a week. So that's that taken care of. Um, didn't really do that much to the shuttle interior last night, because I wasn't really up to it. But I did do some work on this. Uh, <coughs> Hello! Now, um, it's been masked off, as you can see and given a coat of silver, in fact it's been given a couple of coats of silver 
it's been taken back and buffed up and taken back and buffed up and then what I did was I went over it with some 60 grit uh, sandpaper just just not not to sand it but to just put a texture in there so I was just sort of like bouncing off it with the sandpaper just sort of like ding 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 just so that it looks like it's had some sort of uh, wear and tear so you can see that there's you might, you might might be able to see that there is some sort of sort of metallic um, grain and dings and stuff like that. I just didn't want it to look like it was um, sort of factory finish. I wanted it to look like it had been worn and it had picked up a few scratches along the way. So that's that for now. Um, I'm going to stick some uh, clear amber into the airbrush and I'm going to spray this down and hopefully it'll come up. A nice really shiny gold. So that's what I'm going to do right now and then I'm going to move on to doing the shuttle. Okay so the helmet has had a coat of amber over the top of it. You can see it's got this sort of um, nice sort of goldish uh, hue to it. I'm going to go back over it now and I'm going to do a little bit more but what I'm going to do because it's um, airbrushing I'm going to do a bit more intensity around the sort of the seams so that it's, I mean that's what the airbrush is for, you know, uh, what's the point in having an airbrush if all you're going to do is flat spray paint. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do some uh, heavier gold around the eye sockets, uh, around some of the edges, and uh, just sort of strengthen up these sort of, uh, this cheekbone effect. Not that it needs it, but I mean I think it'll, I think it'll work really well for it. So, um, so yeah, this is where it's at and I'm just going to, I've made up some, uh, more amber now, which is just this nice colour, and um, I'm just going to go over and do some heavier painting in areas. I'm not going too close because I want it to nicely feather in. under here, under the sort of join. Not actually aiming at the seam, I'm aiming just past it. So what's what's happening is uh, there's overspray that's actually colouring the the seam. So here it is with the red and the gold. Um, now some of you are probably going to be wondering why. Um, why do it the way I've done it, whereby I painted it silver first and then went over the amber when I could probably have just gone over it with gold. Um, it's a very simple reason. Uh, if you go over it, if you buy like a rattle can of gold and you spray over it, you, what you're going to get is one tone of gold and then you'll have to go back over it and things like that anyway. So what I did was, the reason why I went over with the silver was because I could then go around it with the amber and get these different tonal shifts. So I, I could could make it more gold around the eyes, on the ridges. If you just go over it with a rattle can, you're going to get one tone. And what I've got here is uh, several tones and, you know, and it looks good. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. And... Um, Moving on. Right then, whilst uh, doing the Iron Man helmet and uh, getting that all sprayed up, um, I had a couple of deliveries. So um, I'm just going to show you a couple of them. Uh, here we go. This is from Model Lighting Solutions. 
there you go. And what they sent me was uh, 10 pre-wired white, warm white SMDs. Um, but exactly as I wanted them, without the resistors attached. Um, because I want to put my own resistors on there. Um, but they actually sent me the resistors as well. So, um, I don't know if you can see that. But they put the resistors in the bag as well. Really quick service. But, um, so if you want, and cheap as well. Cheap is the, you know, but it's good quality as well. Check one out, they, they go fine. So model lighting solutions, um, you can get them, you can get them on, on eBay. Um, but yeah, good, good quality and good service. So yeah, happy about that. Uh, the next thing I had was resin. Uh, part A, part B, fast cast polyurethane resin. I needed more because I'm running low. Now I didn't order a large quantity. And the reason why I didn't order, order a large quantity is because resin, um, it has a shelf life. Okay, and um, I can always order more. That's not a problem. But um, I didn't want to order too much because it does have a shelf life and I've had to throw bottles of resin with, you know, this much in the bottom because you mix it up and it just goes like this. Um, this it just crumbles. Uh, it's really bad. So, but I had this off Tomps. Uh, there you go. Um, check them out, okay? Uh, Tomps, they, they're on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they, um, they're on eBay. Um, they've got all the, the uh, stuff that you could ever possibly want for casting, moulding and stuff like that. Um, they do RTV silicones. Uh, different types, they do different casts, polyurethane and uh, polyester resins, um, clays, all the sorts of stuff and th this is a good service, it really is a good service. Um, I haven't come across any of their products so far that I've personally ordered and used that has been anything short of excellent. So um, yeah, you know, really good uh, stuff. So, but yeah, anyway, moving on! Right then. Um, so I've, I've done the Iron Man helmet, I've done uh, other work on the shuttlecraft as well. I'm, uh, I've just given this a fresh coat of paint, just to clean it all up and everything and uh, you know it's all masked off and everything at the moment. But that's done. Uh, the computer console is done, that's now got a uh, coat of paint on it and a coat of gloss as well. So that's ready to go in. Um, I've sanded down the bottoms of the chairs now so that they are ready for uh, priming and uh, painting. And then they can be installed. Uh, my only problem is is that whilst I was cleaning the airbrush earlier after doing the Ironman helmet, I'd left the, the front cap off and I dropped it on the floor and I bent the needle. So um, I'm going to try to straighten that out because the, you know, the, the point is probably knackered now. But, um, it's probably still usable if I can quite delicate when I sort of try to straighten it out. Um, but that means I'm probably going to need a new needle, possibly a new airbrush. Um, I'm not worried about that because that was dummy. That was dummy fine. I've had that for or two years, and uh, it, that that served its purpose. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to finish off the back plate on the shuttle, and then. I can start installing stuff. I can start installing the lights and uh, finally getting it all buttoned up. Anyway, that's it for the update for today. I shall uh, see you later, guys.